Hey balloon buddies, it's Liz popping balloons and I'm coming with a new tutorial on how I created these ice cream cones. So I'm starting to use my 14 inch Lumi pole and I attached it to a Dollar Tree coaster using some Gorilla Tape. And from there, once you have your um, pole centerpiece stand together, you want to uh, create your cone. And how you create this cone is you'll have to have five balloons for each set. So I make a trio and then I turn and make a duplet. And I merge those um, five balloons together and create this set. So you'll need seven sets um, of these balloons. And you want to start off with a one inch so now i'm using legenda dual sizer if you don't have this type of machine you can always eyeball the sizes which i used to do all the time or you can use your balloon box so they have different sizes and you still may have to go a little smaller um, because they only go to like two or three inches on that box however um, once you start you want to have seven sets so i start off with a one inch two inch three inch four inch five inch six inch seven inch and you're using five balloons each so you'll need 35 balloons just to create this cone i also add a balloon to the top of the Lumi pole and i do that for column stands as well this is just giving um a little extra cushion for the balloon topper so it won't be wobbly it just gives a more rubber to rubber base and it won't pop your topper because you don't want to put all those sprinkles on your balloon topper and it pops so from here i'm using a 36 inch balloon and i'm using a 260 balloon to attach the 36 inch balloon to the cone and you'll need to create the little rope that goes around to give that ice cream shape and you won't believe how many balloons you need for this but you will need 90 balloons to create this rope so even with those garlands you've been seeing and they have that rope effect this is exactly what they do um and you'll see it a little bit later in the video exactly how you make that rope and then i'm just using some glue dots and i'm attaching my sprinkles so this is how i create the rope i'm using a 260 balloon i stretch it all the way out and get that air out of that balloon and then i'm going to double knot it on my first single duplet so once you have that duplet you want to start putting the next duplet on there and you're just going to right to left right to left for each duplet and you're just going under your last duplet you don't want to take that 260 all the way down through the first duplet you just want to go to your last duplet that you put up there twist it around one time and then go back up so you're creating a nice tight bond but you don't have to go all the way and wrap your 260 all the way down through the rope just to your last duplet and you're going right to left right to left and you're just creating this rope shape for your ice cream base now you can um attach two 260s together i started off with one 260 and then i got to the towards the end and i stretched out that 260 again and added additional one so you'll need two 260s in order to create this 90 balloon base so just remember it takes a lot of balloons to create these ice cream cones so try to charge accordingly i do charge 50 dollars per ice cream cone i know some people may charge more but that's what i'm comfortable doing 50 dollars for each um 14 inch uh ice cream cone but i do have taller lumi poles and the taller lumi poles i would go up about 20 20 to 25 dollars i know typically i don't talk about pricing because it gets a little sticky depending on your area people just want to try things and you know so they don't charge accordingly but now you have the tools you know how to make it you know what type of materials you need so at least charge a minimum of $45 per centerpiece when it comes down to this because you're using so many balloons and now I'm just taking my rope of 90 balloons and I'm taking that end of the 260 and I'm just wrapping it um, and attaching both ends together and then I'm double knotting it and now you have your ice cream um, little section I don't even know what that's called but it makes it that's how you can tell it's ice cream right 
and I wasn't sure how many balloons I was going to use. So I had to count like those two bags of Simprex five inches. They come in 50 and I had 10 left. That's how I knew I would use 90 balloons. And then I added um, some more glue dots to my sprinkles. And all I'm doing for that is I am like cutting the 260 in about four sections, tying each end, and then creating the sprinkles using glue dots. This was for the birthday party. The little girl loved it. She was walking around like, these are my ice creams. So I hope you can try it. If you do, please tag me, Liz Poppin' Balloons. Follow me on Instagram, Liz Poppin' Balloons, TikTok, all the same tagline.